Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in once again and the streak, it has been rebuilt, it has been reborn and we have Tainted Blue Baby to play this time around. So let's give him a go. I find Tainted Blue Baby to be intriguing. Um, the, the only sort of thing about him that's like a little annoying, I didn't mean to do what, what the hell poop is this? What the heck? I forgot that there was uh, extra poops when uh, you're playing with Fiend Folio on, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the only thing about him is obviously not having bombs to um, be able to access secret rooms reasonably easily. I mean, you do kind of technically have more bombs, but um, it's still, yeah, not great. Right, calm down you. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. So many poopy poops. But yeah, it does mean that early game we have um, sort of a, a better way of being able to deal some damage, which is obviously really nice. Bow on that guy. Throw these about. Just get a bunch of flies everywhere. Dude, completely forgot that those guys shot at you. Whoops. But yeah, it does mean that we've got like a a nice variety of uh, of poops to play around with here. I yeah, I completely forgot that this was a thing for this character. Where he gets some like excess usability because you're playing with Fiend Volia. Like, what a what a good thing to do. It's completely unnecessary, but what a nice thing for them to do. Um, it's kind of interesting as well, has this always been the case that it shows you the poops that you have coming up even when you don't have poops available? I don't remember that being a thing. Because I have zero poops available, but it shows me what's up next on my list. I'm intrigued by that. Uh, now I do have to remember, this blue baby does not get cheap devil deals, so we have to be wary of that fact. Boom. That, that didn't hit them. Oh, I thought it hit them. Okay, we'll save this bomb one because there's a tinted rock back there. In fact, we'll hold it. Just in case we need to use something else in the meantime. Okay, we should be fine in this room. Right, let's quickly go back. Wait, 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 wait. There's apparently another enemy left in this room? Ah, oh, God's sake. Goddamn spoders. Some poop there, nice. So this is one of the surf poops, right? Alright, it's so a little bit of a trek back here, but... We will make our arduous journey to destroy us said tinted rock. Boo! Boo urns! How dare you! How dare you disrespect me in such a way? As for the question of the day today, um Hmm. Hmm. What's something that you have to buy regularly that you fucking hate the fact that you have to buy regularly? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's the same thing as for many people, which is like fucking council tax and rent. But I mean, like, something that you maybe have to buy for your job or your lifestyle that's just a really big pain in the ass. Because I'm sure everyone has that sort of stuff. All right, let's see what our item room is. Ooh, yes. Absolutely love this item. Uh, every now and again, well, I say every now and again, every room there's a specific rock that is going to be like... Um, holy, like this, and if we stand in it, we get a lot of good stats and herming. Basically, it's kind of like a, a weaker version of um, that item that makes enemies turn into the radius things when they die. It's kind of like a slightly weaker holy poop in every room. It's real good. Oh, I just used a bomb by accident. My bad. Do these soap poops do anything different? I can't really tell if they do or not. I can't really tell, but yeah, either way, it's a very, very good item. I love the fact that it gives you herming as well. It's pretty damn strong. That managed to kill a lot of annoying enemies there, actually. I don't think those, um, those poops do anything. Or at least I'm not sure. Good, and then we got the boss. More turds available. We got a fear poop. I don't know what much that does us. Got a devil poop there as well. I don't know if some of these poops I want to be... Okay, so this one's... Ah, this one slides and then... Um, it slides and then leaves a trail behind it, which I'm imagining will deal good damage. So if I do like this... Okay, that's kind of interesting. It's, it's a little bit better than I thought initially. Unfortunately, we are getting cube of meat here, which I'm not particularly enthused by. Um, well, ball of bandages, you know what I meant. Either way, we'll take it and we'll just step on down to the next floor. 
<sighs> and see how things go. At the minute, I am, like, more stressed than usual. My, my work, um, I think I've mentioned it before, we basically do streaming and stuff. And at the minute, we're, we're, we're gearing up for some streams that we're not particularly ready for. And it's kind of stressful. Ooh, sinus infection. Hell yes. Hell to the yes for sinus infection. So that poop is just like a spreading of gas. We got another fire poop here. Use it on a fire enemy, why not? Grab this as well. Yeah, we're not going to be using the... Um... Eh, we'll grab that chest, it's fine. We're not going to be using the statue every room, because it's just not going to be something that we can use every room. Don't know what the hell I'm playing at here. Okay, we do have an extra bomb left, so we can get that chest now. But yeah, I'm really liking the fact that we've got sinus infection loaded up here. That makes me very happy. Right, quickly go back and use it here. Grab this real quick. Good money, good money. I like it. Quickly go back and check out this room over here. But yeah, I like the wider varieties of poops. It's nice. Definitely need some extra range to make this herming even more valuable. And that's what I was hoping for exactly from that extra room. A single penny puts us at 15. It means our shop is actually of quite a bit of value to us. I'm noticing that I'm peaking a lot with my microphone. I have tweaked my audio settings a little bit. I hope it's not too much for you guys. Um, in fact, let me turn it down a little bit. Just because I can see it peaking in my audio quite a lot and I really don't want to deafen you guys. Good, good. Good blue flies going here. Blue flies are doing a real good job. And here's our shop. Nice one. We've even got extra keys now as well. What holdeth you? Diplopia is potentially quite good. I think I might... This is going to be a too good to use syndrome sort of thing. It's going to be hard to find a, a place where this really pops off. But I think I'm probably saving it for my first um, angel deal. I could, of course, go to the devil deal as well. But I'm more inclined to save it for my, my angel deal and see what I get. Luck penny there is rather nice. Got to be careful of the fires detonating the, the gas. I always, always forget about that. The, the holy auras we can utilize here. I tried to throw that poop in the other aura to see if they stacked. Sadly, I missed, but still, it was a pretty quick and good kill. We did get a devil deal here. Like I said, we will ignore that for now, and we will pass down to the next floor. I think so far this is going well. I'm a little bit wary of my low HP. Um, I realize that's a bit of a stopping point for us right now. Uh, but overall, I think we should be okay. We just need to make sure to not get hit too much. And hopefully find some tinted rocks along the way here. Because at the minute we're not doing too hot on the uh, the old tinted rock front. But sinus infection is giving us some real good damage output. That's clearly helping out a lot. Yeah, I, I like that poop. That poop's kind of crazy. It spreads the, uh, the gas like pretty far and wide across the room. 50% chance for Devil Deals to cost coins instead of hearts. That's obviously pretty good for us if we were going Devil Deal, but we're not. You have a few little fellas here that are going to shoot at us. Good. we got a bomb poop here that I'm not really sure where to use. I'm probably going to get hit here. Mm, actually, we, we did okay. We did okay. we got a nice roster of poops available. I'm trying to save this bomb one for where it's a little more valuable. Yeah. Get wrecked, clam boy. Now, unfortunately, sometimes the rocks are going to spawn. Like, the, the holy rocks are going to spawn in really pretty much useless locations. That's just going to happen from time to time. Kind of a rough room, this. Like, it's, it's an easy room, but kind of tedious. And then the, the bubbles on top of it don't make it any less tedious. They block shots. Oh no, they don't block shots. What, what? I always thought they block shots. Anyways, let's pop in here, see what we get. Chemical peel, certainly not displeased with it. We'll try for petrified poop here. 
I don't know if the poops that we generate can drop petrified poop. I would expect not, but I genuinely can't remember. It might be that they do and I'm just completely forgetting. I'm not quite sure what happened there. And then shop I will go in as well just for the chance at a uh, soul heart purchase. Fortunately not. Still, sadly, no tinted rocks for us here. And unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with crab. Luckily, that was actually a really quick kill on a crab, which is surprising, because those things are normally a nightmare for me. But yeah, just thought I'd chill out from my job for a little bit with a nice bit of Isaac, because yeah, today's been a stressful one. Although it's my sister's graduation tomorrow, which is going to be quite nice. I get to uh, go down to that. I'm excited. I throw poops like a lot further if I throw them within this radius, which is kind of strange. I'm not quite sure why that is. Okay, that was that, that was my bad. There was so much gas in the room, why'd I do that? Sadly, we do not get a thingy here, angel deal, but we did at least get ourselves a nice um, HP up there, which is pretty useful. Go down to the next floor and hope our angel deal shows itself unto us. Gives us the support we need. Still have a bomb ready for Tinted Rocks. Hoping that pays off. Oh, what are you going to do now? Oh, I see. Okay, so that aura reflects enemies as well, which means it also reflects the poop because they count as enemies, I guess? Well, if I throw my poop into there, yeah, it like bounces off of it. That's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Definitely need a fire rate increase as a base. Good, good. We can still get dips out of this as well, which is nice. Yeah, I like this item a lot. It's like it's it's crazy because it's like it seems super overpowered, but it's it's still quite situational. Deep pockets here would be rather nice, but I think I'm just gonna buy the soul heart. That was a potential diplopia situation there. Um, but I really want to hold out for something potentially a lot more lucrative if we can. Let's kill these guys first because they're annoying. Luckily, yeah, Bugger T is actually just kill it for us. It'll do damage over time. I mean, any damage over time on those guys is just an instant death for them, which is rather lovely. Right, let's try and seek out our item room wherever that might be. Poison poop there going. Oh god, he telefragged me. I didn't realize those enemies could pop up underneath you. I wasn't paying attention. To be honest, I kind of thought it died. I, w I wasn't really paying attention because I assumed the enemy had died. My bad, I guess. Right. So there's a bunch of poops in this room that we could potentially get to. I guess if we do this. Oh no, my bad. <clears throat> I threw it right against the aura. We, we were literally just discussing this. So what does this poop do? Does it like lower their HP when they're within radius? Or does it increase my stats when I'm in within the radius? I'm not quite sure. It doesn't seem to be. Oh, those dips aren't mine. God damn it. <laughs> the dip confusion. It's real. The dip confusion is real. Oh, you bastard. And you're a champion as well. I don't know why I got so close to you there. That was so silly of me. Uh, not... Things aren't going great at the moment, health-wise. Things aren't going great, but... Eh. This item room will save the entire run. I just know it. Oh. Oh, wait. You spawn your own poop slick? Well, my poop slick damages you, even though you literally produce the exact same stuff, substance out of your butt. Mine's better. My substance is better. Um, yeah. Pretty decent trinket. I I'm kind of annoyed by the distinct lack of tinted rocks that we're getting at the moment. Really not getting a lot. I'm pretty sure this is secret room, so I'm going to try it out. That it is. Eternal Heart's rather nice here. Um... Hmm. Actually, we can we can do this if we go and throw that here, and then that here. Okay, I thought that was going to get both. Sadly, it didn't. But I can do this, and then this gets the other one as well. And now we can get deep pockets, which I'm pretty happy about. 
Where are a lot of poops? I'll go back to the shop later. I don't need to go now. I like the fact that I get a nightmare every room here. I I'll be honest. This trinket that gives you a nightmare is better than the item that gives you a 50% chance to get a nightmare on, um, on taking damage. Like, that should be the trinket. This should be the item. I'll be honest. Little portal. You can absolutely suck my D. There is no way I'm touching that with a 10-foot pole. What an absolute slap in the face to everything that I stand for. Can you get these buggers away from me, please? My god. That was heinous. Honestly heinous. Why, why, why would it even consider giving me that? Oh my god, dude. Come on now. You gotta blap that away from me? Okay. Anyways, we've got the Steven floor. We seem to be getting the Steven floor a lot. I have checked. It is not modded. The chances are vanilla. I'm just... It's, I think it's, it's meant to be a 30% chance or something. I just keep getting lucky, I guess. But we can go to the Steven floor if we choose, which... I'm honestly not sure about. I, do, I don't think I'm going to go to it this time around. Because I don't have many items that I want to trade. Apart from ball of bandages and potentially magic scab. Um, and... Like, I, I, I'd rather have an item room and a shop, especially now that I've got deep pockets, I'll be honest. Oh, damn it. Shitting the bed a little bit. Okay, good. Didn't lose our eternal heart. I'm happy about that. Did get our angel deal finally. Is it going to be the diplopia of our dreams? It's not, but it is going to be pretty fucking good, actually. Star of the Bottomless Pit here is going to be pretty goddamn good. Uh, having two of them does nothing for us, so we'll hold off on that. Um, and... It's very, very risky to go for a, a kill here, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not go for the kill on this one and hope we get future angel deals that help us out. I think that there's a potential chance I lose my eternal heart and that would make me real upset. I don't think I'd die, but I don't want to lose my eternal heart. This is a good room for us. Especially when we get damage up like that. Ooh, we get three golem trinkets too. Okay, um, that could be really nice. Oh, what the fuck? Come on now. I just keep bombing myself constantly. It's, it's getting kind of... Annoying. Need to check what all these trinkets are in a minute. Okay. Right. Check what we got here. See if we got anything good. Upon death, revive the player in the current room with six hearts. That sounds kind of amazing. And 50% chance to get an extra cent when picking up coins. Um, chance to replace rocks with fool's gold rocks. I think we're better off with this one right now. I do like my nightmare guy, but I at this stage, I clearly need the ability to revive. So I'm going to take that <laughs> and be happy with it. Yeah, the ability to revive here is clearly something that's uh, going to help us out quite a bit. Oh, for fucking telefragging little fuckers. En enemies that teleport to anywhere near, like, within, like, one sort of block space of your location. Don't like it. We'll never like it. We'll never agree to that being fun. <laughs> no tinted rocks? Come on now, game. You've got to gotta give me a little bit of juice. See, that, that poop did really well that time. Oh my god. Thank god we got this trinket, because I'm probably going to die here. Don't even know what happened there. I have little to no idea. We are getting a hell of a lot of um, locusts at the minute, which I quite like. These poops are insane, because they're going to generate locusts now. The one that we've got lined up next. Like, just sit it in the corner. And it just generates locusts for us. Good. Really could use HP at this point. 
very, very, very bad room for us here. Yeah, almost no way. Okay, so that trinket, I didn't think it would work. I, I thought six hearts wouldn't like work with this character. No, it does. It does. Uh, and then we'll be taking this, I think. Uh, although, actually, taking damage grants a temporary shield that blocks projectiles. Do you know what? I'll give that a go. It, it might save us some damage, but that we actually gained a hell of a lot out of that trinket there, so that was really nice. <laughs> that was really nice of the game to do that for us. Then item room. Ooh, yes. Um, unfortunately, it's spiders instead of flies. If it was flies, that'd be so much better, but still, that's good. That was, that was kind of close. Well, this is going to be frustrating, isn't it? A tiny bit of creep there almost got me. But yeah, managed to get a ton of HP out of that. Shop is valuable for us here. Um, yes, we will take that. Although, it would be nice to uh, find the secret room first. Which I actually think is... Oh, uh, no, it's not, it's not where I thought it was, actually. Um, let's take a little look around. Magus isn't particularly great for us right now. Have a little look around. Okay, it's probably here. Um, we're going to have to wear some poops here to get this done. Okay, good. We found the secret room. Let's go and get our mysterious box and see. And remember, this could be something we deploy up here if it's an item that we definitely get benefit out of having two of. Good. Then then we could deploy up it. I'm probably going to end up holding onto deploy like the entire run and never using it. T it tends to be how I how I use deploy but we'll see. Right. Oh, we, we got a boss fight in here. I kind of wasn't... For some reason, I wasn't expecting there to be anything in here. My bad, I guess. Try and avoid the explosions where possible. For money, lovely. Let me pop that. Grants immunity to spikes. Uh, that's actually real goddamn good. The speed is really nice. The plus two soul hearts is good. We have... This floor has really revitalized us, hasn't it? <laughs> It really has. Okay, pretty happy with that. Obviously something that we don't benefit too much out of duplicating. It would give us extra stats, but the main effect with the spikes on the ground and the creep uh, wouldn't wouldn't double. Not much point with that. Kind of crazy how how like far it launches, dude. Okay, this shield lasts a while. I'm I'm liking the idea behind this as a trinket. Try my, try my best to not just take damage on purpose, but, you know. Nice. Um, we're good to leave this floor, I think. Ooh, tinted rock, although slightly hard to get. But we did get it. We got the small rock as well. Very nice to see. And we've already got speed up to, neg uh, to negate the speed down that gave us. Which is rather nice. Oh, bugger. This is going to be kind of a hard room because lobbing poops here is not so easy. Can't get some locusts down there. Locusts do three times damage as well, or most of them do at least. Yeah, pretty good. We did get an angel deal, so now we can actually fight the uh, the boss if we're able to produce a poop, which actually we do have one ready. Good. And then... So this is a good time to diplopia, I think. We'll diplopia here so we can take both. Um, and we'll take two prisms. Oh, wait, no, this just allows us to take both, I see. So we'll take that and then we'll, we'll grab that. Good, good. And then we can pop that there. Yeah, pretty happy with that. We got double damage here now. Um, especially as a blue heart character, it's definitely better. And then Prism's pretty good. It's not obviously insane, but it's pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that Diplopia usage, getting both those items. Like I said, Prism isn't insanely good, but it, 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 it can come in clutch sometimes. And it actually works really well with any sort of herming, of which we do have access to via the statues that we find around. So... In that way, it's pretty good. Good. 
Um, potential for soul hearts there, I guess. Got to remember that I'm immune to spikes as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna constantly forget that. Um, that the fact that I have orphan socks, it's gonna be something that just completely slips my mind for the rest of this run, and I'm gonna be like avoiding spikes and stuff. I don't think it gives me any immunity from spiked rocks though, so I've, I've still got to be wary of those. But yeah, you can tell we're kind of we're kind of wrecking up the place right now. Nice. Give me those poopy poops. This room is. I think much easier now um, with the changes to the spike blocks. Keep moving forward. Good. Ow. I'm really liking this temporary barrier. It lasts a lot longer than I would have expected. Dad's wallet. All shop items will act as if they are free. Picking up a shop item will remove one charge. I mean, we might as well take that. Um, we are on uh, Dank Depths 2, so not valuable, but like we don't have an active right now, and what else are we going to use our money on? So, in case like we get those little pop-up shops, it could be useful for that, I guess. Need to stop standing in potentially explosive substances. That was kind of interesting. And we're going to get loads of money back as well, that's the thing, like, spending money isn't exactly a, a bad thing for us, because Deep Pockets is constantly going to be giving us more and more money back. God, stay out of here, you. Item room. Broken shell. Uh, burn heart, giga bombs. Yeah, I like that. We'll pop in here as well for a key. It is a black market. Um, what? I, do I need flight to get up there, I guess? Unless I can... Ah, oh, wait. I tried to bomb through that and then realized I don't have bombs. Um, hmm. I can... There's definitely some, some gimmick to this room. I guess I'll come back to this. Wait, uh, let me try and use this. Okay. Didn't really work the way I was hoping. Hmm. Okay, let me come back to that. I think there is some gimmick I can use to, to utilize that. Increased chance for energy cards. I'm okay, thanks. Ow. Constantly hurting myself. Oh, I hurt myself again. Luckily, the game is generous and gives me a soul heart back. Um, I don't know what to do here. Do I want to stick around and try and fit, work out this room? Okay, I did just get another bomb. Let me try and utilize that. So let, let's see. If I if I throw this poop here and then bomb like that. Nah, that doesn't that didn't work. It's fine, whatever. I don't really understand how to work out that room. I'm sure there's a very, very simple way, but my brain, too small. It's too small. It does not comprehend. Why is this mother fight always starting out with slightly less HP? I've noticed that with their uh, fiend mother. She starts out with like a little bit less HP. I'm not exactly sure why. Two soul hearts for beating that? Wow, that's pretty darn good. Where's that key piece, by the way? I don't see it. Oh, it's underneath my bomb fly. I'm hoping we get another angel deal here so we can actually do Mega Satan, but it's just going to be luck of the draw at this point. I mean, 42% chance is decent, but we still do have a 25% chance at getting a thingy as well. Um, getting a devil deal as well, so it's not a great chance. Chance to spawn a random locust when collecting pickups. Chance to increase with pickup rarity. I mean, to be honest, do we really need that? I suppose it could be good with the the poops if it, if it works on the uh, the poops because we're constantly picking those up. Let's see. No locusts from any of those. Not that that was like a super good baseline test, but still, I don't think I need it. I've already got a vastly superior method of creating locusts when I want them. Siren Song, um, really good trinket, but completely unnecessary for us right now. Don't really know what that would do for us. How are you not dead, my friend? You've been hit by like three bombs. 
Are you immune, good sir? Are you immune? Keep it moving. Keep it moving. That Herman going. Really don't need the money at this point, especially considering we've got um, Dad's wallet. Even if there is stuff to purchase, we've got the purchasing power in the back of our pocket already. Where you at? There you go. You spawned right into the poison, you goof. Goofball. Good. Don't know why I decided to come into this extra room that was really no reason to come into. I guess I got a red chest out of it. That could give us uh, something or other. I'll test it out. Eh, just pills. Ah, the bomb fly got me. At least I can use my invincibility to get up in enemies' faces for a little bit, though. That plus the, plus the Polaroid invincibility as well. It's kind of a, a twofer. Terrible twofer. Again, the fly exploded right next to me. Can you, can you not do that, please? Got Skull X. We did get HP here. No angel deal, sadly, so we've only got one more floor. What the fuck even hit me then? <laughs> I just got a HP up and it's like, nah, we don't want you to keep that. I don't even know what hit me. Some sort of gas exploded, I guess. It's just, just the, the way of playing Tainted Blue Baby, isn't it? Random gas explosions fucking everywhere. Maybe it was my little bomb buddy here. He's, uh, he's a little, little bit of a goofball sometimes. There's some things that I might not might not always approve of. He does have some power to him sometimes, though. Good, good. We do have one of these machines, which I think is pretty valuable for our money right now. I mean, we already got a damager. Oh, we, we, we ended up getting um, a pretty good item here. Nice. Ham. Good bit of damage. Range is nice for herming. If we, uh, we're standing in the herming radius. Maybe some rocks can't be the statues. Because as you can see in this room, there's plenty of rocks that I would have thought could spawn as them. And haven't. Or maybe it's just a chance and I haven't really been noticing. Again, bad hit, but I don't really care about the bad hits at the minute because we've managed to gain a good amount of HP. I'll tell you what, it's really annoying. The, like, crooks of my elbow is really itchy and very annoying. Gimme, gimme, gimme. We are going to make Hush, I think, just about as long as we've gone the right way here, which I think we have. Probably do Hush. We've got about a minute till hush. We should be fine for that. Actually, there is a few attacks that the boss could do to slow us down, so... It's not a guarantee, and honestly, this floor is long as shit. What the hell's going on? I think we might miss it, because this floor is just long. And it's the wrong way! Are you kidding? This is such a long, wrong way. How dare you, game? How absolutely dare you? Okay, so we've missed we've missed Hush, unfortunately. It is what it is. Oh, fuck off. You're supposed to be dead. Fucking die. Oh, dude. It's it's, it's over. Could have been something beautiful. 
We've got less than 20 seconds to kill Mum now. Which somehow actually worked. But if we get an angel deal, we have to fight the angel. We didn't get an angel deal, so we can just go and check this out. Both terrible for us. Okay. Sad that we didn't get angel deal, so no mega Satan for us, which is... Yeah, hugely disappointing considering I had the opportunity to get the angel before. But at least we're going to get Hush. At least we're going to get Hush. Got ourselves Surf Box for extra range. Uh, this is kind of difficult. Bee Skin's pretty goddamn good, but so is the Perfume. I think I'm going to take Bee Skin. Bee Skin's just more fun. Also, it's really good with, um, what's it called as well? Our, um... Ooh, Snake or Kidney Stone? I think Kidney Stone's probably better. Kidney Stone's more annoying, but it's probably better. Everybody grab that. Yeah, Kidney Stone's more annoying, but, like, look at that. It's just beautiful. Did not mean to pop that poop straight away. These poops need to like go in the corners. See, the good thing about this fight is going to be the invincibility we have. Can I just see the poops I'm trying to collect down here, please? Can you like leave me alone? Unfortunately, I keep popping my locust poop, and also my arms are fucking itchy. Oh my. Go fuck off. Why is it always when I'm playing Isaac or recording anything, my body is just like, hey, you itch now constantly. Like, why? No, I don't. I never itch. Go away. Okay. Stop hurting myself on the explosions, please. That'd be a good start. Oh my god, it's it's un unbearably itchy right now. What is going on? What is going on? Dude, I, with, with Kidney Stone, I just automatically pop the poops. I was really hoping they'd be pretty valuable for us. Sadly, they are very much not. Try my best to get all the poops I can. Not actually doing anywhere near as much damage as I would be hoping. I, I thought we'd kill him a bit quicker than this. He is sitting on some creep as well, I think. I'll try and stand in the poop slick when I can as well. My right, kidney stone is about to go off. <laughs> you spawn your minions. They are nothing to me. Although, actually, I'll, I'll be honest, they lasted a lot longer than I thought they would. This is a really, a really, really hectic fight, this is. Just so much going on. We really need to stand still in a moment to make sure this doesn't hit us. Goes Kidney Stone again, baby. It is pretty beautiful. You gotta say, it's pretty beautiful. He's got so many bugger tears on him as well. I look generations through the roof, and there you go. He is bested. I can finally itch my arm again. Being a right pain in the ass right now. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanatosis. Um, and I guess we'll just go up. 
I, there's there's a potential chance I could get to a Mega Satan fight somehow here. But yeah, I'm not, not entirely enthused how likely that's going to be. Oh, yes. Bit laggy, but fun. Oh, really? There is no chance that I want to fight this room. In fact, he actually died really quick, so... I'm not that bothered. He does have an excruciatingly long death animation, though. Lots of extra keys that we definitely need for the next floor, so happy to see him. Oh god, we got druggy. I'm going to have to, like, rip my arm off after this recording, you know, because it's pissing me right off. It's, it's disobeying me. It's actually the worst. What's wrong with you? I'm going to slap it. That actually felt significantly better. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, one second. I'm getting a phone call. Okay, cool. For some reason, I I, I booked a, a meal for my parents and stuff because my sister's graduation tomorrow, so I booked a meal tonight. Um... And they rang me to confirm the booking, which I've never had happen before. I mean, it's nice, I guess. I just, I just unexpected. I haven't had that happen before. Normally, it just, you get a confirmation email and that's it. Oh, dude, my arm. It's it's as if I've been, like, stung by something, but there's no mark or anything. Like, but it's, do you know, like, when you get, like, bit by a mosquito or whatever, and it's just really, like, constantly irritated? That's what it feels like, but there's, there's no mark or anything. It doesn't feel like I've been bitten by anything or, I don't know, maybe I've put something on it that irritated it, but it was fine this morning, and I've literally done nothing since this morning, so... I really can't tell you. I really couldn't tell you what's what the hell is wrong with it. Oh! That was close. I did not see that coming. Right. Boss time. I got hit again, dude. I'm getting hit so goddamn much. It's embarrassing. I think it's just because I'm, like, so very distracted by my goddamn arm. What the hell's going on with it? It's, it's like, the most itchy I've ever been in my entire life. <laughs> oh, dude. I've lost so much health this floor. It's embarrassing. I'm just constantly, like, standing in the wrong places. Oh, dude, I got hit again. Fuck me. I thought the invincibility after getting hit would help me, but turns out, no. I just wait until the invincibility is just about over and then get hit. So I'm kind of glad I'm not doing Mega Satan at this point, because I don't think I could. We'll see if we can even actually kill Blue Baby at this point. The might and might help. Triple shot, is that? Yeah, I'll take triple shot. Half fire rate for triple the shots is probably a pretty good value. It's actually really good with Kitty Stone as well, thinking about it. Ooh, I do not, I do not like the look of this room. Yeah, I knew I was going to get hit in here. There's just, there was too much to think about. I barely knew what the hell was going on. Ooh, this is a really, really rough double trouble boss. These two bosses, when combined, I think could be a nightmare. Luckily, we've killed one of them already, but this this um, football guy, he can do some really nasty stuff with spikes. So luckily, we managed to kill him before he did any of that. <gasps> a half soul heart? You're too kind. To be fair, let's, let's play the judgment. Did, what, not the judgment I was expecting. I didn't even know this could spawn out of them. And we got an item on our first play, and it was a good item too, so actually pretty happy about that. Oh, -ho -ho! managed to kill him through his damage resistant phase. That is super. That is super.
Monstro 2 doing his thing. Nice. Taking it out for ease. I'm hoping I can get to the next room before my uh, kidney stone stops, but... Uh, what kind of room is this? I don't like it. I couldn't see this other button because it was behind my goddamn statue. I didn't like that room. That spooked me deeply. What the? So, I've realized a slight anti-synergy. If I fart, uh, Bird's Eye fires a fire, which instantly explodes the gas and hurts me. That's kind of BS. Gotta admit, it's kind of BS. I'm sure that I'm gonna die now because, uh... One hit away from death isn't so good. Probably should have left that um, half soul heart on the floor for a situation like this. You could have been my savior, Chest. You could have been my savior. You could have been my hero, baby. Ah. <sighs> Like, we're doing really well, but the health situation is stressful. I have a feeling what's going to kill me is either some sort of gas explosion that's my fault by a fire, or Kidney Stone is going to stop me from firing at a really inopportune time. <gasps> Amazing. Can you get that fire out of the way of the goddamn door, please? Thank you. Oh my god, death animations, please. Do you know, that, that'd be a mod that I'd absolutely love to see in the future. Like a quality of life mod. A mod that just, like, has bosses die instantly, rather than have play out their animation. Because, like, in a lot of situations, their animations, they're cool the first time you see them, but after you've seen them a thousand times, oh, really? I got hit by that. You just don't really care. Um, and you kind of want to just be over so you can leave the room. <laughs> after that, I'll make it so you can, like, leave the room during their boss anima their death animations. Ooh, getting Dr. Fetus with this would be a bad idea. Dr. Fetus plus B skin is a, is a, like, a mistake I've made before. I'll say that. We had an out. We got ourselves a goddamn soul heart and we lost it so fast. Infestation here, doing some good work. Sun, potentially good. Judgment. Not the sort of beggar I was hoping for. Oh, he's paying out. Oh, what the hell? Apparently if you leave the room, it stops them paying out. I didn't know that. What did I say about Kidney Stone being in opportune times? I did it then as well. Ugh, come on. Speed up doesn't do much for us. Right. Do not use this fart cloud, it will instantly kill me. Oh, balls. God damn it, I got him into last phase, but yeah, too many mistakes there. Either way, it's a fun run, really fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.